Bill, and uh, we announced a major uh, grant from the federal government uh, that we were able to get for broadband deployment uh, for the super highway. It's going to create hundreds of jobs and link up people all across East Central Illinois. So we all understand the importance of having a good information superhighway, but we will not forget the importance of having a good highway system in Illinois. The interstate highway system that began more than 50 years ago was the greatest investment in productivity in world history. It uh, made Il America and Illinois the envy of the world with respect to our transportation. But we must, a half a century later, always understand that we have to continue to invest in our roads, in our bridges, in our highways all across Illinois. And we're in the middle of the largest highway construction season of all time in Illinois. Uh, we understand it can be at times inconvenient for motorists, but the bottom line is improving safety of our roads and improving the productivity of our economy. So having good roads and safe bridges is indispensable to having a strong economy with jobs today and jobs tomorrow. Uh, if we have good transportation in Illinois on the roads, we will continue to see good jobs. And we also understand the importance of the construction jobs of making those safe roads and safe bridges possible. Uh, this year we're doing hundreds of bridges and many thousands of miles of roads across Illinois. And that was made possible last year by a vote in the General Assembly that took 10 years. It was 10 years of debate and sometimes acrimony. But at the end of 10 weeks of being in office, we were able to get everybody together and get a bill passed by both houses of the General Assembly to invest in our roads and our highways. And I signed that into law. And we're seeing the fruits of that law right now all across our state. And I think it's very, very important that we honor all those who are doing that work. I do want to thank the Laborers Union that is here today and all the other trade unions that are out there in the hot sun doing the hard work to make our roads and our bridges safer and more expeditious and productive for the people. You know, last year we had the fewest traffic fatalities in Illinois since 1921. 1921. That's a great, great record of safety. And part of the safety record is having safe roads and safe bridges. So we're constantly working on making our roads and our, our uh, connections, our interchanges safer. That's why we're here today. Uh, our Secretary of Transportation, Gary Hannig, is gonna talk about this particular interchange and intersection. It's one of the busiest in Springfield. Springfield has a very vibrant tourist economy. We want to make it even more vibrant. We want to invite the world to come to the city of Abraham Lincoln, to his hometown, to see the library, the museum, and many, many other Lincoln sites and other things to see and do. But this particular interchange is sort of the gateway to Springfield. Many, many people, the first place they come when they get off the big road, off the interstate, is right here. And we have work to do to make it safer, make it easier for people to traverse. So that's what we're doing. This is a very large project. It involves millions of dollars. It's 11 million altogether. It's gonna employ, just in the construction alone, 143 jobs. And those are good jobs, well-paying jobs, important jobs that make us a better state, a safer state, and a stronger state when it comes to the economy. So without further ado, I'm gonna ask Gary Hannig, Secretary of Transportation, who is overseeing this just immense construction program across Illinois on our roads and our highways and our bridges. Come forward, Gary, and tell us all about it. Okay. okay.